just two beautiful dorks staring at the moon. By the way, if you stand at the lookout on the lower level, there's a special song that plays, but it has lyrics, and I don't want anything to interrupt the very dramatic conversation these two are about to have. Let's move. The gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperious soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. We need to stop him. Yesterday. We will kill him, but there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. So you'd kill to take that power from him. But what of the others bound to the ritual? <laughs> What's a hand for the wretched servants? If they're anything like me when I was enslaved, they're all but begging for death anyway. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. All that matters to me is that you're safe. I know you do. It matters to me as well. I want to be able to protect you, too. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. As long as you're sure you'll be all right seeing them again. <laughs> you're too adorable. I'll be fine. I'm sure they'll bring back memories of so many pathetic years, but I'm much stronger now. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casador has changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. It was challenging deciding what dialogue options fit Nick's best there, because while they want Astarian to be safe more than anything, especially after letting the only other person they've ever loved suffer when they were capable of doing something about it, that's also why they would be so compelled to liberate the spawn. So when Astarian talks about ascending, it's super conflicting for Nyx. One final night in the open air, and then back to the city. Rest while you can. I fear that quite a bit of work awaits us. Now we're traveling together, I realize I don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Is it true that you fought the Dead Three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And, bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books, or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Please. You're only one of those things. Don't tell me which. Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. 
Okay, one long rest, and then into Rivington we go. Um, excuse me, I can't find my mum. Ugh, another child. Look, that's your problem, kid. Get lost. But, um, I'm... I don't know where to go. Good. That'll make getting lost even easier. <laughs> Honestly, kids these days. Just stay put, kid. Your mum will come find you soon, I'm sure. She better. It's getting really sad in here. I'm not sure, but what else was I going to say? Hmm. Which way should we go? Continuing to be difficult. Nearly there now. You can see the city. Up on the hill. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Does no one we meet ever get along? Not if they're trying to help themselves to other people's property. I just want to remove these unlawful interlopers from my property. Relax. You don't need all this space. These people do. Everyone wins. My point exactly. Psst. They're like kobolds. You let one in and soon the place will be crawling with them. I'm a very magnanimous individual, but this is my home! Either they leave or I'll make them. They stay, or I will burn this building until there's not a board left standing. Fine, fine! They can stay! Just don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are! I respect your hustle, sweetheart, but it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes and we'd like a little something to make it better the guild a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule from cut purses to contract killers or what i'd say you'll live to regret it but honestly i'm not so sure you'd live Ooh, a melee attack option. Knock some sense into this upstart. That was a mistake on your part, sweetie. A mistake the guild will hear about. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. Well, let's see what all the fuss is about concerning this house. Not quite sure why you stood up for us like that, but I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. I may Torm keep you. Torm, huh? Not the worst god you could have chosen, but still unnecessary. At least we'll have some peace. Now. Peace. Over there. Traps. How considerate. There are traps and explosives everywhere down here, so I'll send Astarian to take care of this. Be careful. There are traps about. the home of a sweet, generous soul. It might be worth looking into his donations. Who knows what he's been giving? We'll finish exploring and then head over to check out the warehouse. 
I'm not paid to debate with civilians. No, we pay taxes for you to protect us, not these intruders. Well, look who it is. You did me a real favor clearing all those ghouls out of Moonrise. That old bonebag Ketherick had some fancy junk stashed behind all the cobwebs and piles of gore. Show me these fancy items you have on offer. Anything magical? Would I try to fool a sharpie like you? Have a look. Stay away from trap chests! Donations? Uh, sure. I'll make a donation. What do you need? Food, sundries, gold. These poor refugee sods need all the help they can get. Look, I really just need to get into the barn. Right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. I'm gonna let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. Is everything all right, Manip Nestor? Sir? Ooh, I probably should have let Astarian do this. Ah, okay. Can you please give me a hug? Bet your arms would be so snug. You were right. Explosives! Now give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. As if we didn't have enough to worry about. I thought this assignment was going to be While dull. we're over here, let's go chat Wish with a few luck. of the refugees. I don't know how we're going to get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he is. But we have to. Ah! Oh, whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Let me take a look at the wound. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. This is barely a scratch. What's the idea? Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. Oh, that's kind of cute. Don't take that to yourself. You know who's really. Washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I'm... Oi! Gonna blood not get any bleeding privacy around here. Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. <laughs> oh, hello again. At least you made it. How are you holding up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us. But he froze when we needed him most. Uh, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. There are plenty more people we could talk to down here, but for now, let's head up the hill. I do not like our chances. I'll destroy every last blood. Rechtei Hathran Rust. My friend from the Hag Swamp. 
you join us as we honor our fallen dead. You're a bright light on a dark day. Even you, my erstwhile quarry. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im orak nete. Krasinetra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. And we want nothing to do with you. I have to admit, I don't love sitting down for a chat with people who've relentlessly hunted me. I am offering an olive branch. Do not knock it aside so quickly. All right. We're listening. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Yes. Astarian's free now. Free? Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. But how can you be sure, Astarian? I spent 200 years bringing him victims! Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. You owe them revenge, Astarian. If nothing else, you owe them that. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge. I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Mm. We have no good choices. Nothing less will do. Nix is going to pull Star aside to have a quick chat. They would want to check on him after that. Worms Crossing, the welcome mat of Baldur's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. Are you worried about Kazador finding out you're back? I won't lie. 
The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. It sounds risky. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it will be worth any risk. So yes, I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. Mm. The Circus of the Last Days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Let's check out this weaponsmith first. Hi! Welcome to the Rivington General. Uh, hi! Or want a blade, or a bow, or a dagger. Or maybe a spear is more your thing. You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? Tone down the excitement, will you? You're giving me a headache. Sorry. Sorry. I just get so excited doing the best job ever. Really? Customer service is your idea of the best job ever? Yeah. -huh. I get to talk to people all day and work for the best damn smith in all of Rivington. Gildro Angleiron. He's a living legend. Do you know he's won best smith in Rivington seven years in a row? And, and he says that if I move enough stock, I might even get to have a go on the anvil. All right, show me what you've got. Oh, yay! Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? How will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? I'm not fussy, so long as they die. I see. Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? I wipe down my weapon and move on. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? What difference does that make? This weapon must be fit for every kill, even the ones you never think will come. So answer me honestly. Could you kill one you loved? I do all I can to keep my loved one safe from my blade. You can't stop yourself any more than stop your blood pumping. You delay the inevitable. Look. 
Look at it. Come crawling home, hands stained with the Bone Lord's soot. And you carry his stone. Weak and soft and broken. Oh, sweet sibling. The world has dulled you. Or maybe I poked your mind matter too sharply. I could end it now. But I'll be patient. Father will see us together again. He will see you bleed. So Orin is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? You! Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward! Go on. Say that again. Like you really, really mean it. I... I don't need to. I know what you did, whacking me over the head. Near cave me skull in. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Try it, and you'll be smiling without teeth for the rest of your life. You know what? Not worth it. Go on, take your thuggery elsewhere, bloody animal. Well, that's a lot for Nyx to mentally unpack. Warren mentions being a sibling, their father. Let's talk to Asari and see what he has to say. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. <laughs> or you can just be a comedic relief. That works too. Okay, one more stop. Let's check out this courier. Something to send? Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Wait, delivery not guaranteed? Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but... Now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? He sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. Level with me. What's really going on here? Oh, well, the... Uh... One of the missing letters is my own correspondence. A, a personal matter, nothing serious. But you can understand if people think I can't even deliver my own letters, I'd be finished. Well, staying in Baldur's Gate will be expensive. So I'll track this letter down if you pay me up front. I suppose there's no harm in you taking a look. Here's something to get you started. Bring me the letter, unopened, and you'll get the rest. Against the Absolute? I know, I'm fighting in it. The Absolute? Poppycock! Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds. <laughs> Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself to see the wood under the trees. I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Triumphar. State your purpose, Groundwalker. 
I don't have all day. I hear some of your uh, officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Uh, damned awful business. Fine flyers, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. We're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Looks like our next stop is the monastery next door. After we commit some federal offenses. 